Hello, my beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie JTV. Thank you guys so very much for all the support you show my channel. As per usual, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. Um, I found a few new items, nothing exciting, but I'm grateful for what I do find. But we're gonna start this Dollar Tree off um, haul off with a few items, I think. I might have to turn it off, you guys. I might have to cut it off, I mean. But the first item I'm gonna share with you guys is this B Color Instant Root Touch-Up. Now, when I did a walkthrough, I showed you guys this product that was still in the box in my store on Raleigh Road. But when I went over to the smaller Dollar Tree, they had it out on the shelf already. Nice, right? They had it in black, brown, and blonde. I brought the brown, this is by B Color Instant Root Touch Up. Quickly and easily covers grays and roots, and it's a net weight of 1.7 ounce. And of course, they have the dollar 25 stamp on it, which I appreciate it with them incorporating all these other stuff right in smack dab of the middle of the dollar 25 stuff. I do really appreciate that, but don't get this y'all <laughs> it says it's supposed to it says directions first shake well then hold can six to eight inches from hair spray color onto fresh growth on scalp down to the ends of hair to make sure color is well blended brush through and let dry y'all this stuff comes out so fast that you cannot control it if i was just trying to spray my roots it went everywhere y'all everywhere all on my ears all down on my face and you'll see that it has the little sprayer like that but you can't control when you're spraying it even as far away as you're holding it this stuff made a mess i spent half my day today cleaning off pillows pillowcases you know constantly having to wash my hands if i touch my hair i need to get in the shower right now and wash this stuff out of my hair but i got one more week before i have to rebraid my hair so i'm trying to make it last but as far as i'm concerned this was just my personal experience you may not have the same experience if you know how to use these kind of things when i do root touch-ups i go to the beauty supply store and i buy little tubes like this okay <clears throat> looks like lipstick it's just put it up and then you just go in and cover around the roots until your next rinse this is so much easier to use and i know it wasn't a dollar 25 but whatever i paid i can't remember what i paid for it just says red by kiss um whatever i paid for it this is the one that i typically will have on me but i thought i would give it a try because it was new new to me anyway i thought i would give it a try but honey no i will never use this again okay that's just me y'all y'all might not have the same experience okay next item i've been seeing these floating around in um dollar tree streets and there's finally made it to my local dollar tree on raleigh road i have not seen these on the small at the small dollar tree yet but i thought they were so cute i almost went back and bought another one but i said sadie chill you don't need two of them. But y'all know I like anything that lights up. This is just calling it a decor piece. Please forgive my nails, y'all. I had such a tough time getting this uh, Maybelline Fast Gel off my nails. I spent literally hours on hours on hours. And you can still see it underneath my nails where I could not get it off. Whew, what do you use to get... This kind of nail polish, I've never had that problem before, except for with, if I use fingernail polish with, um, what is it, the glitter and stuff in it, it's a little bit harder to take off. But anywho, I digress. I didn't like that Maybelline Fast Gel, okay? I had to repolish my nails like three times, and then when I went to take it off, it was virtually impossible, or almost impossible. Is that a word? Okay. Anyway, back to this pretty, pretty glass de um, decor. It requires three... Um, Double A batteries, don't do like I did and don't bother reading the instructions. Well, there really wasn't any instructions, so I just assumed you had to take the whole top off and I and then unscrew. There was like three little screws in there. 
Oy vey, y'all. Life, okay? But you don't. All you have to do is twist this little piece off right here on the top. Put your batteries in it. Put this little piece right back on. It has little groves where you just turn it and lock it. And then it has the on and off button right here. And you just put it on. Isn't that pretty? This thing lit up so nicely. I was like, ooh, I better go back and get some more. I'm like, but I didn't. Not yet. I might get another one because I just like it that much. But this is just a dollar twenty-five and it just calling it decor, but I thought it was just darling. Okay. Woo, I'm yapping today. Okay, my sweets. No special order. Y'all know how I roll. Just grab and show. I saw these cups in a Dollar Tree on the road, and I didn't get one. And then they came to my local Dollar Trees, and both my Dollar Trees had these. Just the clear little drinking cups. But they're so nice, and they're so heavy. I know, I know, I know. I didn't need another cup, but I just thought it was so cute. Once I wash it and get it cleaned up, all it's saying is it's tumbler. It's BPA-free. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it is a Greenbrier um, product, but I think it was the weight of the cup itself that impressed me. And I just grabbed one. I like it. I grabbed it. Okay. Um, I found a few new items to me once again. This is by Briars Cookies and Cream Ice Coffee made with Victor Allen's artificially flavored cookies and cream ice coffee. Unfortunately, it's only an eight fluent ounce, but it got my attention first with Briars, okay, and then cookies and cream. So I grabbed one. I had to dig through the box because a lot of the um, cans were dented and um, kind of mangled up, but I had to dig through there until I found one decent. And this is good until August 17th of 2025. I've never seen Briars. Besides the ice cream in the dollar plus um, freezer case. And I've never seen cookies and cream. So that was definitely new to me. Okay. So I grabbed it. And also down the drink aisle, I found these new shine waters. And y'all know, I showed you the, what is it, Starburst ones. And I like them. I like them a lot. Okay. I just, like I told you before, I just mix them in with a jug. When I'm making a jug of Kool-Aid. I just take a little bit and mix it in with that until I use them all up. But this is Shine Water, Nutrient Enhanced Water. This flavor is Fruit Punch, and it says Vitamin D, Zero Sugar, and it's a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. And the best buy on here, I didn't look before to check. Oh, there it is right there. Um, August 23rd, 2024. And it looked like this. Shine water. And it's just nutrient enhanced water. And this flavor is fruit punch. It looked kind of good from the packaging. But they always make the packaging look really, really good. And again, I checked the nutritional value. And it's like 3 grams of carbohydrate, 0 sugars, 0 added sugars, no proteins, etc., etc., etc. And it's for the whole bottle. So, Yeah. It's just water, nutrient-enhanced water, so I grabbed that because I will drink those, okay? And this one, the flavor is, um, excuse me, 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 me. <clears throat> this one is strawberry lemon, again, vitamin D, zero sugar. It says antioxidants, vitamin D, and electrolytes, and this one probably says the same thing. No, actually, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it is in a different place, okay? But this one is good until January 18th of 2025. This looks like this. And again, just shine water. These are new to me. I've never seen these before in the Dollar Tree. So they're still unloading those U-boats in my local um, large Dollar Tree. The smaller Dollar Tree does a little bit better, but they had a lot more help. This large Dollar Tree has no help. Okay, so I feel so bad for them. Okay, coming up, next item. Okay, my sweets, I see some Duncan Hines is coming back to the Dollar Tree, and I found this, and this cake looks so good. My baby brother loves chocolate cake, okay? This is Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Dark Chocolate Fudge Cake Mix. 
and it is a 15.25 ounce box and it is good until la 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 oh sorry april 16th 2025 once again that's my son's birthday april 16th but look at this y'all dark chocolate fudge if you guys follow me on my community page or if you catch any of my shorts you'll see a lot of these items even before i haul them and if you're on facebook i'm sadie marie johnson on facebook i'll put it down in the description box well it's already in my bio so yeah if you guys follow me on any of those platforms you'll see some of these items but it just says you will need one cup of water three large eggs and a half cup of vegetable oil that's their way I do it my way okay but I was happy to see that I was like oh that looks so good I only got one so far and then they had another Duncan Hines perfectly moist this is butter golden cake mix and again 15.25 ounces and it is good to la, 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 March 7th 2025 so I could put these in my pantry and just have them there when I want to make a cake for any occasion I'm working on making that cheesecake that enticingly delicious cheesecake but I haven't gotten around to it yet so I did find these two Duncan Hines at the Dollar Tree I don't know how much they run for in the regular grocery stores y'all but for $1.25 that's where I'm at that's convenient for me oh and by the way you guys both the managers at both my local Dollar Trees told me yesterday that this is the last week, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why that frog always want to come on here. He want to get in the video. Anyway, the managers told me that this is the last week that the Dollar Tree is here in my area. I don't know about anyone else's area that we're going to be, they're, they're going to be selling the Dollar Tree bread. For now on, they're going to have the breads that they usually have in the $3 um, section at, mo at a lot of stores. That's the only bread they're going to be carrying. I'm sitting there going, if I want to pay $3 for a loaf of bread, I'll just go to the grocery store. Plus, I love that size loaf of bread that you got in the Dollar Tree. It was perfect for my household. I buy a big loaf of bread, you know, like the normal size loaf of breads. Most of that bread's going to go to waste in my house. But anywho, just for your information, I don't know about anybody else's area. But yeah, this is the last week. I don't know about the bagels and all that other stuff. I don't know. She, they just said the bread. They will not be carrying the Dollar Tree wheat or white bread anymore. Matter of fact, I think they're getting rid of the bagels and everything and everything's coming in. Is it Sarah Lee? Maybe. Is that the brand that they carry? I believe it is. Sarah Lee for $3. Okay. <sighs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. The Dollar Tree is going away from us. I can't stand it, y'all. Everything's changing. I hate that. Okay, let's see what else we have next. All right. Okay, my sis. I apologize for interrupting this Dollar Tree haul, but I wanted to share this fabulous product review with you guys today. This is a company called Liput that reached out to me to review their Autoscope. And I don't know about you guys, but my ears itch all the time. I typically dig down in my ears or scratch my ears with bobby pins. I don't like Q-tips because they kind of like push everything further down. Well, honey, y'all have not seen anything. This is Earwax Removal tool camera and this is by again Liput okay Autoscope now I was not able to download the app yet I'm still working on it where you will actually be able to see the inside of your ear once you connect the app to this Autoscope you will be able to look on your phone and use the mechanism to go into your ear to clean your ears pull out anything that's in here. You can use this on your children. You can use it on your husband. You can use this on anyone. But of course, as always, something like this, you have to be extra, extra careful. But this is, um, it comes with Wi-Fi connection, 180p um, HD, 
Um, it's waterproof. It's 360 wide angle. The only thing that I would complain about these items like this is that the USB cord, everything is USB connection today. And this is how short the USB cord is. It's very, very hard to plug it in. Right now I have mines plugged up to my phone cord. My phone cord is like 10 feet, okay? You see the little blue light right here? This is fabulous, you guys. You get, let me show you guys, let me slow my roll right here. This is available on Amazon right now for $19.99. I will leave all the information in the, um, the links down in the description box, but you get a plastic little thing here full of all the different utensils that you get to use. And you get so many. This is kind of like a brush where you could attach it to the, um, the autoscope and go around and clean the inside of your ear. Then you have this one if you need to hook something. You got several of the hook ones, smaller ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like a spoon. Okay, you got that one. And then you have another one, which is not quite as, um, as, as deep. So you have two. Then you have this one, which is a little bit bigger. And this is three, okay? And I showed you the brush. And then you have these three, and they're all like, the handles on these are really, really nice, okay? And then you have this one, like a little curette, or what do you call it, curette, where you just go around and scoop things out of your ears. Then you have another larger size brush. This is fantastic, y'all. I don't know if y'all have problems with your ears or not, but I've been scratching my ears with bobby pins all my life because that's what I saw my dad do. And I know that's not healthy and that's not the way to do it, but it's worked for me. But now that I've got this, I will definitely be using this and I can't wait to get it linked up with my phone so I can literally see it. <clears throat> That's why they call it an autoscope. You can literally see it on the app as you're going inside your ear. It comes with a little brush to clean your utensils off. And if you saw how this one came, they all have these little safety pads on them that you just lift up like this, take them off. You attach the tools to this, okay? Let's say we're gonna use this little one and we're gonna attach the tools to this one, oops, let me see. Let me try the brush. Okay, so we're gonna attach the brush. We're gonna put it down, oops. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can get this right. Some of these are not working for a minute. For a minute. I didn't really do my investigative work like I'm supposed to, but when you take these little plastic tabs off, you attach these little apparatuses to it. You get a capsule full of the pr protective caps for every tool that you're gonna use, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that. So you get these protective caps and you see the blue light comes on, it's fully charged. You can turn it off. It usually goes off when you hold it. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna go off. It was going off before. I don't know why it's not now. Y'all know how videos are. But each of these little capsules, you got a little ring on the bottom, okay? So whatever tool you want to use, you're just going to attach it to the top part and then pull that plastic piece off. And that's the tool you're going to use. But I wish you guys could see this because I'm trying to get this off. Okay, there we go. And that's the tool you're going to use. So you see the blue light, and then you go into your ears gently, very carefully, and you clean your ears out. I think it's a fantastic item and only $19.99 on Amazon. Like I said before, I will leave the link down below with all the information. If you're interested, go on over there and snag you one because, yeah, 
these ears can be, yeah, a bit of a, a mess sometimes. But thank you guys for letting me share this review with you. Thank you, Layput, for allowing me to review your product. Everyone have a great day. Bye, guys. Okay, my sweets. I showed you guys this product in a previous haul. I found this Oxidol, um, 32 fluid ounces. It says it's new. It eliminates tough stain. This is the laundry pre-wash stain remover. And let me just tell y'all, it works wonderfully, okay? This is what I use to get that hair color out of my pillowcases, my whatever I use trying to wipe that stuff out of my hair. I use this, okay? And it worked wonderful. I used the uh, stain remover wipes. I put double bleach tabs in my washer and nothing took the stains out until I sprayed it with this. So you see this in your Dollar Tree, get it because it really, really works. But then I'll turn around and I found which one? This one. This is Oxidol. It says new. This is a foaming bathroom cleaner with bleach. Okay, I like that. It says it removes soap scum, dirt, and tough stains. And again, it's a 32 fluid ounce. And there's that nice little 125. This looks like it might have gotten wet and uh, kind of faded out a little bit, but who cares? It's just the bottle. It's a big mamma jamma, y'all. These are heavy Oxidol for $1.25. And I had just bought some bathroom cleaner before they came out with the Oxidol, which is probably coming up in a, one of those halls sitting under my table. But yeah, I found this one and I grabbed it. And then <laughs> I turned around and found this one. This is Oxidol New Fast Acting Cleaner Plus Bleach. Removes soap, scum, grease, and tough stains. So it pretty much says the same thing as the bathroom, as the foaming bathroom cleaner. But I love foaming bathroom cleaners, y'all. But just in case, you can use this. It says 32 fluid ounces, and it looks like this. These things are heavy, y'all. It's hurting my shoulder. <laughs> but this is what this one looks like. They all have the spray pumps, and they are nice size cleaners for $1.25. I don't know where in the world I'm going to store this stuff. My cabinets are so full, but I'll work it out. I always do. And then, last few items in this, I think... Well, besides the thumbnail, is I found these cute, cute... I've been seeing these floating around in the Dollar Tree um, haulers streets. And I was like, oh, we won't get them. We won't get these anytime soon. And I was like, went to my large Dollar Tree in Raleigh Road, and there they were. I think I showed them to you in a walkthrough. These are the Adventure Squad. Let the Adventure, Let the adventure Begin includes Speed Swim Fins. And this is Marina. I thought this was a guy, but it, I think it's a girl. I can't really tell if her hair is braided. Yeah, I think her hair is braided. But this is Marina. It's for ages three plus. And it says Marina down there. And it has the little swim flippers. What are they calling them? Includes speed swim fins. F swim fins. And I was like, I didn't think we would ever get this collection. So this is Marina, and it just says skills, deep sea rescue, tool of choice, speed, swim fins, special ability, deep dive. So collect the entire squad and let the adventure begin. And these are by Four Star Group, not Greenbrier, y'all. So I was excited when I saw these. I'm already starting my collection for the Christmas donations, you know, because you got to get this stuff when you see it. So those are the four characters that they had. And this one is Marina. Marina, Marina, Marina. Y'all you know, know, that's my girl, okay? <laughs> that's my sissy. This one is Freddy. Hey, Freddy. This says, includes firefighter chief, chief axe. Chief? Yeah, chief axe. <laughs> They're all for ages three plus. <clears throat> And he looks like this. And I'm just like, oh, how cute. Look at that arm right there, y'all. And there's his axe. And his skill is, excuse me, fire control, 
Tool of choice is Firefighter Chief Axe, and special ability is Tidal Wave. So that's his skills and his what he does. These are going to be so cute. Some little kid is going to be so excited when they get this for Christmas. And then the next one is um, Adventure Squad includes Rescue Pack. This is Manuel. Oh, hello, Manuel. And he has an arm almost just like um, Freddy. But this looks like this one. So he's in the red. There's his Rescue Pack. Aren't they cute? And then they feel like they're very well made. They're not hard, hard, but they feel a little bit on the rubbery side. You can turn their heads, all their heads turn, you know, so they can, um, you can maneuver. And I'm sure once I take this out, their arms will move too. So this one, his skills is emergency medical services. His tool of choice is the rescue pack. And his special ability is wrapped restore. Wrap restore. So that is Manuel, okay? And then the last one in this collection is Marshall. And it includes long arm of the law. <laughs> long arm of the law. And he's cute. His feet are big in these white boots, okay? But he's cute. So this is, who? what do we say, Marshall? This is Marshall. And I just love giving the kids nice toys like this. This is kind of sticking out the back, but that's what his thing is. His skill is crime fighting, tool of choice, the long arm of the law. Special ability is catch them cuff, catch them and cuff. And these again are by four star, not Greenbrier. So they're really, really cute. And again, their heads rotate like that. And I'm pretty pretty sure there aren't yeah their arms move so yeah the kids are gonna love these so i just i might even go back and get some more just so i can make sure i have enough to donate at christmas time so i got those okay okay my sweets what you saw in the thumbnail again if you watch my shorts or if you go on my community page you'll see a lot of these products already posted but I found these cute, cute little Smurf socks at the small Dollar Tree on Cooper Drive in my little town. And who doesn't love the Smurfs, right? They had them in the women's size, but it said what is, the women's socks were like either no-show socks or ankle socks. And they said one size, women's one size. Y'all know that ain't working for me, right? Okay, because my feet ain't no one fly. My feet is one, two, three. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I did find a couple of pair of men's. And I think I, I thought I had bought the last of them. But when I went in there today, they had restocked some more of the men's. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, what in the world? Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> I was eating on a little piece of um, my turkey meatloaf before I came on camera. But yeah, these are made in China, men's one size, Ooh, again, that one size, designed in Canada, and it just says, the Smurfs, the Smurfs, the Smurfs, the Smurfs, the Smurfs. <laughs> so they had them in this pair in the red, and then they have the little Smurfs on the back. You can see all the Smurfs, okay? And they're made in Canada. Well, they're made in China, but they're designed in Canada. And it says, fits men's shoe size, 7 to 12 in the U.S., U.K., 6.5 to 11, and in Europe, 40 to 46. So, and they're licensed. So, I was like, and look at the little special hanger. I had a hard time getting these things off the, off the um, hooks in the store because of these hangers, the way they came. But, yeah. I got this pair in the red and the black. I just thought it was so cute. I'll probably pass these over to my sister in Jersey. Y'all know how I do. And then I got the blue one, which really, really looks like the Smurf. <laughs> I forgot his name, but he has a picture on here. Let me see if I can open it up so you guys can see it. Oh, crazy. Oh, yeah, it's just him. So it looks like that. Isn't that cute? So they they really feel nice. They don't feel thick, thick, but they feel comfortable, 
you know, and they all have their emblem on it that says this. Oh, sorry, y'all. What does that say? It says Pews 2024. So, yeah, I got that pair, the blue and the striped white. I just thought they were so cute. The women's ones were cute as well, but like I said, I had to leave those. And then I got the black and the blue one. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. Y'all know I love to get socks. I love to find the fun socks of any kind. And I will be on the hunt because I hear that they just dropped some new ones again. Ding-dongs and, oh, I can't remember them all. But y'all know I got, the, I got the memo. So I'm going to be on the hunt for the newer ones because they just dropped some more. So these have the blue heel with the black and they're so cute. Okay, and then I got the gray pair, <laughs> and I just love Pops. I think that's Pops, yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. I was just like, oh, my God. Smurf socks at the Dollar Tree. They could have given us two pair for, for that amount, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'll take them for $1.25. You ain't going to find them, you know, anywhere else for that price, so... And that is it for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video out if you care to. I'm still trying to get to that 10K. I got another video coming where I'm going to show you guys all of the nice pretty sesame accessories to remind you and i heard through the grapevine that more sesame stuff is coming out i haven't seen any yet but we shall see but anyway thank you y'all have a blessed day and i'll see you in the next video bye guys